This is BigCountryHomePage.com Sports with Dan Booth. Good evening, everyone. It's that time of the year when every shot, rebound, assist, and dribble means the world to all those trying to make their dreams become a reality on the basketball court. In the 2-1A Girls Regional Tournament, the number 8 Hermley Lady Cardinals went head-to-head -head with the number 4 Robert Lee Lady Steers. The winner advances to the state final four in San Antonio. Let's get to the third quarter. Julia Munoz gets the steal, goes coast to coast, takes the contact, and gets the layup to fall. The Lady Cardinals Cardinals were up by three at the end of the third. Fourth quarter, Robert Lee picking up some momentum. Bradley Hood on the wing knocks down the jumper from the short corner. Lady Steers were up by three. Less than three minutes to go. Sarah Murphy to Destiny Hopkins. Back to Murphy. Two points for Hermley right there. Now they're only down by one. And Lady Cardinals trying to tie it here, but there's a bad turnover. Kylie Freeman goes alone on the fast break. She gets the easy layup to go. And after a hard-fought game, the Lady Cardinals sees and comes to an end with the loss 53 to 50. In class, in class 2A Region 2, the Stamford Lady Bulldogs did the darn thing by knocking off the Lipan Lady Indians 49 to 33. This victory means that the Lady Bulldogs have punched their ticket to the state tournament in San Antonio for the first time in school history. At the college ranks, the HSU Cowgirls played for all the marbles in the American Southwest Conference Championship game against the UT Dallas Comets. Fourth quarter, Paris Palmer on the drive. She finds Hallie Edmondson in the corner. She lets it loose. Bottoms. Cowgirls up by eight at that point. Palmer doing what she does best, which is create for her teammates. She zips it over to Natasha Blizzard. She gets the bucket to fall with the foul. HSU is up by double digits. Palmer launches the Hail Mary from the baseline to Edmondson. She mosses the defender, gets it back to Blizzard for another and one. The HSU Cowgirls win 64 to 54, securing their seventh conference championship and a bid to the Division III NCAA a tournament next month. Congratulations to the Cowgirls over there. With the regular season winding down, the ACU men's basketball team went over to Nacogdoches for a conference showdown with the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. First half, Tobias Cameron finds his guy Cameron Steele on the wing. You know what that means. He's money from three. That was part of a 9-0 run for ACU. With time winding down in the half, Jalen Jackson Posey fights his way inside, gets the teardrop to fall. The Lumberjacks were up by three at the half. Second half, the Wildcats get up to get it to their big guy, Arion Simmons. He is nothing but net from three. ACU takes a one point lead, but with four minutes to go, the Wildcats up by two. A skip pass to Latrell Jostle, who hits the three. The Lumberjacks chop their way back in front, and the Wildcats suffer a heartbreaking loss 73 to 71. ACU drops to nine and seven in the whack. The ACU women's basketball team welcomed the Stephen F. Austin Lady Jacks into Teague this afternoon, and it was senior day for ACU, giving them a chance to celebrate some of their players like Maddie Miller and others. First quarter, SFA's press was giving them problems all day long, but not on this play. Cameron Raz finds Bella Earl on the wing. The three is good. That cut the deficit to five. Emma Middleton with a nice move on her defender with a jab step. She kisses the ball off the glass. She faked out everyone on that play, but on the very next play by the Lady Jacks, Nugent gets Gets a huge bucket to fall right there, and the Wildcats fall on their home court, 80 to 62. This loss brings ACU to eight and seven in the WAC. Now let's get over to the Big 12, where we've got a massive showdown between two ranked teams that have a lot of history. The number five Kansas Jayhawks travel to Waco to take on the number 10 Baylor Bears, and Baylor pulls off a massive resume-building upset on their home floor, 80 to 70. That's it for sports. Susie, take it away.